views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. I'm your host, Cornelia, and we are Living Heaven on Earth. Today is a different show because I don't get to see you on YouTube and you don't get to see me. So this feels really strange because over the last uh, year now that I've been doing these shows, we've been live on YouTube and I've um, I've just gotten so used to being be looking in the camera and and talking to you. And actually, right now, I'm going to give you a visual of where I am because I'm I'm traveling right now. I'm in Arizona, and normally when I do the show, I do it from uh, Washington State, where I live in Laconer. And right now, I'm in Sedona, Arizona, and I just got back from a conference called dream big. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. And I wanted to um, make this show today about activating um, the bigger dream, inspiring you all to um, to embrace your dream and, and stay committed to your dream no matter what. I specifically designed it to be on the heels of this event. And uh, later on in the show, I'm going to bring two other entrepreneurs on that were with me at the Dream Big event that was put on by Amy Yamada. Back to the visual here. Uh, So here I am, I'm sitting in Sedona, Arizona. And the reason why we're not on YouTube uh, right now is because the Wi-Fi is not that uh, strong. So I I can't... um, We can't do the streaming that way. So uh, on the heels of this event, um, most people don't dream big enough, right? Uh, And that's what we're going to change because I want to inspire you to live your dream, whatever it is that you came here to uh, live full out. We all have a dream inside. And sometimes we've put that dream aside because we've had to tend to other obligations in our life, whether um, you've had to put your dream on the back burner uh, for whatever reason. And now is the time to call forth again what it is that you really want to manifest in your life, how you want to live your life how you want to actualize your dream and make the commitment to do that, right? Um, You know, there is that beautiful quote from Goethe. Until one is committed, there is hesitancy. The chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness. Concerning acts of initiative and creation. There's one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans, that the moment one definitely commits to oneself, then providence moves to. And I absolutely love that quote. And after uh, spending this last week with um, in this amazing vibration with so many people that are committed to living the dream, committed to living their dream. 
it it really inspired me to step more fully into mine because I also got um, challenged with playing too small, and a lot of times that's that's what um, what happens is we just we just have settled, we've settled, and we're um, we're kind of just like going okay, well uh, I don't know how this is going to happen, so we allow. Um, our lack or the lack of um, taking full ownership of stepping into your dream and fully living it. I was so inspired by um, so many people there. And um, I, I can't tell you, was it, was it an 11 year old that is building water wells in, in Ghana or was it the, uh, I think the, up to 70 year old woman that was uh, standing up at the mic talking about how she is making a difference in the world and what it is that she wants to create and achieve and how she found herself there with all these uh, younger entrepreneurs. So I was looking at this 11 year old that was standing on, on the stage raising $20,000 uh, just that, that day or the last couple of days to this other woman, to countless of other uh, women and men standing up, whether that is they, they had uh, a life-changing illness that they've experienced in their life, or they found themselves just playing too small or hiding or not really um, being committed to living their dream. So the, the one question that I want to ask you is that if you could have one magic wand, where would you be a year from now? What is it that you would, what is it that you would say to me? What is it that you would say? So if you are um, near a phone, give us a call at 1-800-930-2819. And call in and share with us what that is. Where would you be in a year from now if you had a magic wand? So I'm going to bring on one of my um, entrepreneurs that I just recently met at this event called Dream Big. This event was put on by Amy Yamada. And she was um, I was new to her because I've never met Amy before. But I was really inspired by her message and also... I was drawn because of all the inspiration and the people that I was going to meet in addition to uh, meeting Amy and her incredible team of people that are doing such amazing work in the world. And I'm so glad that I went. So I had the opportunity to meet Elena Forbes and she is with us. So we're going to bring her back right after we take this break and we'll be right back on the Cornelia Stephanie show. Stay tuned. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. A space of allowing radio with Coach Nancy Coco, welcoming all that wants to be present today. Tune in Thursdays every first and third week at 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com as Coach Nancy helps you find a space of allowing. Join Coach Nancy to explore what lives at your edges and to bring more of yourself home. For more information, visit NancyCocoCoaching.com. Demystifying the journey on From Here to There Radio with your host, Diane Garris. Tune in every third Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com as Diane helps you get from where you are now to the life you envision. Get ready to get unstuck and move forward. 
every show features a new special segment, New Age Notes, demystifying hot metaphysical topics of the day. For more information or to work with Diane, visit dianegarris.com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. And I'm with my very special guest, call-in person, Elena Forbes, that I recently met at the Dream Big event. Hi, Elena. Hi, Cornelia. How are you? I'm really great. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for having me on. So glad that you came. So, you know, that was quite quite an incredible event, and there were lots of, I don't know if you heard me talk about the people that inspired me from uh, Josie Joss to all of the entrepreneurs that were there and the amazing speakers. What was your uh, greatest inspiration from that weekend, from that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? You know, I I think my biggest inspiration was just connecting with so many other entrepreneurs on the same journey um, with big vision and making a difference in the world. I think that is the biggest thing. I mean, I loved all the speakers, of course, um, but I think that's the biggest thing is, you know, finding your tribe um, and being able to reach out and to be able to, you know have other people that are on a journey to create big visions in the world. And because sometimes it gets tough, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And have you ever found yourself uh, in that place of, of being stuck and not um, fully committing to your dream? Yes. Um, I think with the entrepreneurial journey that there's always these times where we get to pull ourselves back up and actually recommit to what we, what our vision is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I have had things where I felt a little bit confused as to where I was going. Um, is it worth it? You know, putting in the long hours and the time, you know? So yes, of course, there's been times where I feel like, I guess, I think the biggest thing would be, is this worth it? Is it worth the hours, you know? And then recommitting to that vision and getting back up when something happens. Right. You know, like, like, like I can give you a great example of like what I'm going through Mm -hmm. today, like right now. Um, Yeah. My website, my website was down and I recognized that I wasn't present with it. And I called my hosting company and they said, you know, I I apologize, but you're going to have to start over. We don't have any backup. And I said, well, I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on my website. And he said, yeah, I'm sorry, but it's not, we have nothing. So, wow. you know, that's, that's the, see, so this is the thing, like, this is a thing where you're just like, okay. And you get to like, feel it for a moment and you get to say, okay, what's next? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, it was thousands of dollars. And this is something that for some people, like it can stop you. It can make you feel like, oh, this is not for me, you know, and we get to get back up because we have big visions and we say, okay, I'll I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll do what I get to do. Well, now that you're sharing that with me, I'm just going to right away throw this out there because you're telling me this for a reason. But, you know, when, when, we, tell, when we tell our listeners about, you know, because I want to bring you on to the Millionaire Imprint also, the other show that comes after this show. And because the Millionaire Imprint is a movement. Um, and, of course, that is also a dream and a big vision. Um, so it's, it's completely connected. But I want to bring you on there because of what it is that you do in the world. And um, you're going to be able to support the women and also men, anyone really, uh, with um, their uh, financial um, uh, taxes and the different things that you do that can help us have a clean and clear money foundation with uh, how we how we um, 
pay our taxes as entrepreneurs and, and, and what it is that you do. But I'm just going to share with you that um, I, uh, the, the, the people that support the Millionaire Imprint, I can absolutely um, have your website uh, redone through that process as well. Oh, wow. So, Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just so you know that let's talk about this later and um, yes. that yes. we can definitely um, put that together and have that be part of uh, the theme that you're going to be rolling out uh, at the Millionaire Imprint with um, the other women there. So this is something Wonderful. that can be done. So did you, did you just, did this just happen with your website? Did that just go down yes. over the last yes. couple of days or? I just yeah. got off the phone. I can, <laughs> I can see how, you know, like that, would be like in the old world, that could be a story of, um, oh, well, you know, I'm not supposed to move forward or it could be something that could stop you. And then you mm-hmm. could, you know, again, because you're, you're looking at, I, I lost so much. I lost so mm-hmm. much. So, right. And then you could give up. You could yeah, give up. So I, or, yeah. So, go ahead. Yeah, or we get to look at, okay, what are we trying to create and what do we get to do to keep going on the journey, you know? So, yeah, we can't stay in yeah. what happened, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm glad that you are approaching it that way and that, like you said, thousands of dollars, that costs you thousands of dollars. But one of the things that we really grounded in over the last, uh, you know, four days. And this is what I want to inspire everyone with. And that is to recommit to, to really yes. recommit to your foundation, to your vision, whatever it is, what it, whether it's, you know, um, your entrepreneur business, whether it is recommitting to a relationship, whether it's recommitting to getting out of debt, whether it's recommitting to gaining financial freedom, um, whether it's uh, recommitting to, you know, having a different relationship with your body, but using the word commitment as a way to really step into uh, aligning with your dream, because that is all going to bring you closer to it when you recommit and make that commitment, right? Yes, I love it. Yeah. So Elena, what is your uh, big dream? What? What is your big dream? What's your big dream for the for the future for yourself? Um, do you have clarity on that? Is, are you moving into alignment? Are you living it already? What's your big dream? Yeah. So when I think when you ask me that, I always think of a big dream for myself. Like, what is my big dream? But then also, what do I want to create in the world? You know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so my big dream for the world is definitely, um, you know, I work with entrepreneurs, but it's also financial literacy for everybody, whether that starts at um, like the child level, like growing up, but it's definitely more financial education, financial freedom, and making it um, much like people much more aware of what to do with their money. So that's my big vision um, with the world. And I mean, for me, definitely, like, I love financial freedom. I like financial security. Um, I like to be able to travel. So I do take two big trips at least a year, Um, you know, and I think partially I'm definitely living my dream. Um, And I have so much more that I want to create and that I want to see in the world. And, you know, one of my big things is like, I want to buy whatever I want without looking at the price tag. And I think for a lot of people, you know, I think for a lot of people that that is something that they really want. Like, you know, it's the freedom. I also, I always think of like um, having choices. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to have every choice to, travel to where I want to travel and purchase the things that I want to purchase. I'm not huge, huge, me, hugely materialistic, but I love to have the choices. And I think it's mm-hmm. so important, especially for women to have those choices uh, when it comes to finances, because I see so many women, women making choices based off of their, where they're at financially. And, you know, it keeps them stuck and not being able to live into their highest ability 
So, Mm -hmm. yeah, I think, I mean, that's my ultimate vision for the world is, I I guess we can call it for financial empowerment because I like that word better. And um, for Mm -hmm. me, I think, yeah, I live it every day and I get to have more, you know, I'd love to give more. Um, I like, you know, I'd love to give back more. Um, I have specific charities that I love. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I absolutely love that. I love what you said. I love two things because we were talking about different names for your, uh, what to call your, your business because you're doing some revamping and, and yes. you're, you're, you know, I like fine. I like financial literacy and I like financial mm-hmm. empowerment. Those two things I, I really like. It's clear. Like, mm-hmm. who are you? Um, and I, I mean, I, I love what you're doing. I mean, you left the conference. We were, we were all there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and they were long days. Mm-hmm. And you were, you were there even beforehand because you went to another event also. But when you left, yeah. you came back and then you immediately had to go teach a tax class the next day. You were, you were teaching your classes and you have two offices that you work out of in Sacramento, California. And you, um, you were, I know that because I was rooming with you and I saw you sending um, (laughs) PDF documents to your clients, you know, at, at night after the conference was over. And I just love your dedication and your commitment to, um, being a woman of integrity and, and, and showing up with, um, you know, educating, uh, financial literacy and and loving what it is that you do and that is to empower women to get smart with their money right yes yes I mean that could sum it up you know it could be anything from debt to taxes you know I love tax knowledge because I think it um, a lot of people aren't aware that it has so much to do with your money um, so I you know I and I come from deep rooted tax background. So, um, I love bringing the tax knowledge into it because I think it can make such a big difference when people just have a mm-hmm. little bit more knowledge on that, on that subject and what they can do to save money and create more cash flow. Like I look at taxes as creating more cash flow throughout the year. Yeah. And you know so, what? And, and yeah. I love that because it's like, you're going to be able to, uh, really bring in, the um the next piece of the millionaire imprint because on the next show that's where we're um really clearing that programming that you're talking about where women hold themselves back from actually fully stepping into their true creative potential because they are still coming from that consciousness of I don't have enough I'm gonna run out I'm never gonna have enough right. I don't have enough money and then you know re 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 saying that story over and over again. So that's the reality that's being created by the powerful voice of what they're speaking. So part of what we're doing right now on that other show is really educating and clearing that lack programming so that we can fully move in and and step in and own our worth, own our value, and move into right relationship with um, who we are and and also um, changing our relationship with money. So I, I love that um, the universe put us together and because uh, there there's no mistake. Yeah. And um, so it's wonderful. So if you had a magic wand, where mm-hmm. will you be in one year from now? And just so you know, you're saying it here first. So where will you be in one year from now with your magic wand? Hmm. One year from now, I will be touching, I think, I think it, so what comes to me, I'm just going to go with what comes to me, um, more lives. So a hundred more lives of women that need this financial empowerment. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what it looks like yet, but it, that's the number I get a hundred. Good. So maybe maybe what that is, you'll have your own, you know, uh, group of women where it's like a, a program yeah. of something that um, every month it's all online. And maybe you'll even have your own radio show. Maybe you'll have that where you're going to continuously, you know, do your teaching of taxes or what it is that you do out there in Sacramento. But then you're also doing it online. So other women um, across the globe 
can receive benefits from what it is that you want to teach them and share with them and that you don't necessarily have to travel to all the locations, but that you have everything online. And maybe maybe there'll yeah. be modules or different things that, that uh, you can create and um, that you're, you're available for, um, you know, educating and coaching and um, really, uh, you know, helping people become financially literate, right? Yes. I love it. I just, I, I see a hundred new women. So that's what it is. Yeah. You, you, it's here first. I never even thought of it. (laughs) Yeah. You said it here first. So mark your calendar, you know, mark your Google calendar when you get off. Cause I saw your calendar. I know. I know, you know, (laughs) <laughs> you put it on there and you write on there that this, this is where you spoke it into being because uh, that's where we're at. And this level of consciousness, that's why it's so important for people to, to, to look at and say the words, I am abundant, I am worthy, I am deserving, I am uh, creating an amazing dream life to be able to speak these powerful words out into the collective field because whatever we put out there is what's going to come back to us because that's the frequency uh, of the energy of what it is that we're creating here. And it's so important that we're aligned and that we're in our integrity. And it's not in our integrity for us to be poor and poverty and living in poverty and living in lack. That is not in our integrity in this day uh, of our evolution today. So, um, Elena, do you have any final thoughts of what would you like to say? Um, What's the one thing that you, that what's the one smart money thing that you can um, either money or dream? What is the one thing that you want to say to? I, you know, one of the things that really stuck out to me is that we heard this weekend. I think that I keep re saying, and so I think I'm going to say it is to make choices based off of your vision not where you're at right now. So not through fear, but through your vision. So always Mm -hmm. make choices to where you're going, not where you're at right now. And that includes money as well. (laughs) That includes money. Yes, exactly. I mean, because you, you, you may not have the how I'll figure it out. How is it all going to happen? But just that the fact that that's something that you want to step into and that you will, that you will find a way because you're amazingly resourceful as is the universe, right? Yes. Perfect. So Elena, where can people find you? Uh, I know that your website just went down, but <laughs> in the meantime, if somebody wants to connect with you, uh, let, th- let us know how they can find you on Facebook so that they can maybe friend you and private message you if they want to start working with you uh, immediately. Yes. So Facebook is, um, Facebook, my personal is just the facebook.com forward slash Elena dot bills, B I L L S. And it's Elena J Forbes for my business Facebook. Um, so you can find me there. And then to be really simple, you can shoot me an email. It's Elena J Forbes at gmail.com. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for calling in and sharing your gifts and your wisdom. We're going to see you, Elena, on the Millionaire Imprint. Everyone stay tuned. We're going to be with Charlene Hess next on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Thanks, Elena. Talk soon. Thank, Thank you. find answers to life's questions, you need to look within yourself. Dr. Glenna Rice brings your questionable conversations on Transformation Talk Radio each month. Tune in each month for insight into how you can live up to your full potential. Dr. Glenna is a physical therapist, certified access consciousness, and access body class facilitator. How does it get any better than this? For more information on Dr. Glenna Rice and her work, visit GlennaRice.com. Love Living Radio Ignite Your Whole Being with Emily Perkins is a show for those looking to explore the sparkling magnificence of their inner selves. Tune in every second and fourth Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific as Emily sheds a radiant light of love on the beauty and power that resides within you. Discussing love in all its forms through conversations that provoke awareness, curiosity, and expansion, Emily shares the unlimited power of love. For more information or to listen to this show, visit lovelivingholistics.com. Introducing New Soul Science 
an introductory course with Ruby Betty, offering profound wisdom alongside radically simple concepts and techniques that collapse time, allowing instantaneous personal transformation. The foundational techniques of this introductory course reveal the profound inner ability each human has to access and fulfill their individual soul script or soul promise. Awakening this ability leads to the mastery of one's destiny. The concepts are totally original, immensely powerful, and completely revolutionary. They ignite an infinite fire within each listener, fueling one's ability to live out their unique soul promise. Are you ready to become more aware and access amazing personal transformation? This course is available now at rubybetty.co. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. Do you believe you are meant to live with more joy, but you're just not sure how to get it? What does the phrase, give me the joy, make you feel? Join me, Lynn Horde, every second and fourth Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, on the Gimme the Joy Show, as I take you on a journey to peel back the layers so you can take back your joy. To find out more about my work as a joy coach, including my popular programs, Joy School and Joy at Work, visit lynnhorde.com. Hi everyone, welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and I and we just got finished talking with Alina Forbes. And thank you so much, Alina, for calling in and sharing your uh, piece with us around stay committed to the vision of the dream. So whatever your vision is, stay committed to that and make choices based on that. That's a really really good piece. And so we have with us now Charlene Hess. Welcome to the show, Charlene. Thank you so much, Cornelia. I'm so excited to be here. I'm really excited about this topic, um, obviously, because I was just there at the Dream Big event with you. And I'm definitely feeling that level of recommitment to the big dream. This is really exciting to talk about. It is. So, you know, looking back, you know, like I was, again, thinking about it this morning and I'm just going... I, I'm just inspired by so many things, right? It's like, like you know, Josie, Josie's well. She's the one that is 11 years old for the listeners, the ones that you don't know. She's 11 years old, and at eight years old, she, um, she, she wanted to donate. She don't wanted to donate her money from a lemonade stand that she made, I think, thirty dollars at. And she wanted to donate her money to a charitable organization. And her and her dad got online and they started looking for something that she could donate her money to. And they they found, um, what is it called? Water for Works or Works for Water. Do you remember, uh, Charlene? Water. Something about water They're, They for build water. wells in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Water for Water. And... Um, what what Josie's idea was to um, just donate money? She says, "Why can't we just build a well?" And that's she wanted to be able to, um, you know, contribute to that vision. That was her thing because she wanted all the little girls and all the little boys to go to school with clean drinking water, so that they didn't have to get up in the morning and actually go walk walk uh, miles and miles and miles to get clean drinking water, uh, to get water, and then the water be toxic. So she wanted all the little girls and boys to be able to go to school in the mornings without having to go to work for first to get dirty water and water that could possibly kill them. It, it was just so inspiring. And here's this, this young entrepreneur at 11 years old, a philanthropist, that is just making choices and decisions based on 
um, the new way to be, the new way to live, you know. And so many of us, we've had to undo uh, our old programming, right? And that's um, of of not enough, not good enough, and not enough. And 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 thankfully, Elaine. I mean, thankfully, uh, Josie has a dad that was absolutely supporting her in her vision. Right, Charlene? Absolutely. You know, the thing that really struck me about Josie is she's here, you know, 11 years old. She started her own nonprofit organization at eight because she just Mm -hmm. chose to, because she had a vision, because there was something that touched her heart when she was talking about how she felt knowing that these little girls could not go to school because they had to spend their day walking miles and miles carrying big baskets of water on their heads to help just even have water in their villages in Ghana. And it touched her on such a deep level that she made a decision at that moment that she was going to do everything she could to help. That was the moment she tapped into her vision, her vision of, Mm -hmm. I want there to be clean drinking water for everybody. And this is what I can do to help. And there she began Josie's Well. And you can actually go to her website, josieswell.org and josieswell.com. And she was able to raise $20,000 just at the Dream Big event with Amy Yamada. And that really struck me. Um, Here is this 11-year-old so connected to her vision. You know, when you're 11, it's like, you know, you don't care about anything. You're so egocentric. The whole world revolves around you. Um, You just care about, you know, your friends, your clothes, your school. Um, Usually you don't even have an awareness about the importance of your family. And yet here is this young girl being raised in a family where she has a bigger vision. She has a bigger vision. She has a global view of the world. And that really struck me because, you know, Cornelia, I've been spending the last, I would say, year using the words, I'm building my business. You know, people would ask, oh, what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm building my life coaching business. I'm building my speaking business. I'm building my retreat business. And, you know, I kept realizing that I was finding myself having so much resistance when I would say that. I would just feel like, ah, that just doesn't feel, it feels like work. It feels like effort. It feels inauthentic. It feels pushy. It feels heady. And I'm such a heart person, as you know. And I just realized that it was about the language that I was using. Because when I sit and I think about the real, the reality of what I'm doing is I'm building my vision. I am realizing my vision and I am building my dream. Then I get mm-hmm. excited. I'm not building a mm-hmm. business. I'm, I'm building my mission. My mission and my vision and my mm-hmm. dream is what I'm building. And when I think about that, I'm like, yes. That excites me. That I can do. That I can put all of my energy, all of my time into. And like what um, Elena was just saying on the on the show last was that saying of when you're about to make a decision, is this in alignment with my vision? Whatever dollar I'm going to spend, is this in alignment with my vision? How I'm going to spend my time when you pick up your phone, when you turn on the TV, ask yourself, is this in alignment with my vision? And when I think about that 11-year-old girl standing there on the stage, speaking in such a matter-of-fact way of, of course, after this, we're going to be able to go build two more wells. And the other thing that struck me was people have asked Josie, have you ever been to Africa to see the wells you would build, that you've built? And she looked at them and she said, well, it cost about $10,000 for me to travel to Africa to go see the well. Well, what Mm -hmm. would I rather do, build a well or see a well I built? I'd rather use that money to build another well. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I, I that that just blew me away. She was just she was just amazing. Absolutely. This is why I'm saying it's like uh to be inspired by an 11-year-old that is so aligned with the new earth consciousness that is just uh she doesn't have all that old programming to undo and uh and that she had her parent, her guide to really be able to guide her in the right direction so that she can now do what it is that she came here to do at 11 years old to Mm -hmm. have this kind of foundation, you know, it's, I mean, and then, you know, I, I talked about this yesterday on the radio show too. Uh, Momo was telling me about another 11 year old that was building her own um, clothing line in Bali 
And so it's, it's, this is all part of the new earth consciousness. It's, it's being able to really fully step into whatever that dream is, whatever that vision is, whatever it is that you came here to live full out and uh, experience so that you can share your uniqueness, your unique gifts with all of us. And that's really what it is. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, the other thing that really struck me, Cornelia, was there were two women there that stood out. One woman, she was 75 years old, 75 years old, and she is coming to an entrepreneurial event to learn how to better communicate her vision and her mission so that she can help change the world. And there was another woman that stood up and she was she said, I'm 82 years young. And there were these two women that stood up, 11 years old, 82 years old. It doesn't matter. What is your Mm -hmm. vision? What is it that you're feeling called to do? It's never too late to start, and it's never too soon to start. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly, that's why I said, I don't know what what was I inspired by more. It was just a constant nonstop inspiration. You know, it's like boom, 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 boom. And then, you know, now I feel so blessed have this outlet to uh i'm choosing to talk about this again and again to inspire other people because that's also part of my vision and my dream is to uh activate and inspire other people to uh people that wouldn't necessarily be able to go to a dream big event or that didn't go to a dream big event but they're hearing this on the airwaves and they're going wow i'm so inspired by that that's exactly what it is that i want to do there is a dream inside of me and i can do anything that i want to do and all i need to do is choose and say yes and align and make choices based on my vision instead of my fear right yes yes absolutely oh my oh my goodness yeah. And so what is your thing, Charlene? Um, what's your, what's your big dream or what's your big vision? You know, so I'm sitting here, I'm in Sedona also. I'm sitting at the top of um, Bell Rock and I was meditating this morning. And you know, when I was at the event, I kept trying to like figure out what is the wording? How do I want to say, because you know, when I tell you what my vision is, it's a book. It's so verbose. I have so many words, but It came to me this morning in meditation, and it's like I help men and women reconnect to their inner wisdom, right? I use meditation, Mm -hmm. self-awareness, and play so that they can reclaim their life of purpose and joy because that's really what it's Mm -hmm. about. Because just like we were talking about, if we can connect everyone to that vision that's inside, and I believe the way to connect to that is return to a childlike state. Go back to Mm -hmm. remembering what did you want when you were a little girl or a little boy? What was your vision? What were your dreams? What were the things that excited you and turned you on? The things that made you excited to get out of bed? Returning back to that state to reconnect to that vision and being able to shed all of the layers of the lies that you've bought into over your life that said, nope, you can't do that. And keeping a hold to that vision. And so that's, you know, that's my vision. My vision is to be able to inspire other people to reconnect to their inner wisdom through meditation, self-awareness, yeah. and play. That's a really big piece. Isn't it fun to have clarity? Isn't it fun to have clarity and to be able to speak and articulate these things out? Charlene, yes. hold on the line. We're going to take a quick break on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. We'll be back with Charlene Hess. We'll be right back. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving, even in the face of adversity. Say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the lucid planet. 
visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. Ignite your inner magic on Grow Your Soul Radio with Jane Matanga. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Jane Matanga explores how to overcome your fears to help you gain the inspiration you need to awaken your path to joy. Learn the way to life mastery and the enlightened path with Grow Your Soul Radio. For more information on Jane Matanga and her work, visit enlightened-path.com. Would you like your next chapter to be free from fear and angst? Tune in to Your Next Chapter Radio, navigating through life's transitions with Shelly Ryan the fourth Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Shelly's contagious enthusiasm guides you through life's transitions deliberately, mindfully, and funnily. For Your Next Chapter Coaching or to listen, visit YourNextChapterCoaching.com or call 602-617-8351. Next! Are you your story? Or can you change your story? Can you change what you believe to be true about yourself and your circumstances as part of your healing journey? What if you were to change your expectations? What if you were to invite ease and cooperation into every day and then step back and see what happens? It might just be easier. I'm Megan Edge. And I hope that you'll join me on my new radio show, Playing on the Edge, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host, Dr. Pat, on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. Want to find out more about Megan Edge? Visit her website at meganedge.ca. We're back on the Cornelia Stephanie show and I'm talking with Charlene Hess and we're talking about living the big dream, living our vision and being aligned and committed to making choices in the moment, every moment to live your vision, be uh, committed and say yes to living that dream that, that you came here to live. And so Charlene, if you could wave your magic wand and I'm sure that you are waving your magic wand where are you going to be one year from now Mm, you know I used to get so confused when people would ask me questions like that because I would be but there's this and then there's this and then there's this but when I look at it from my vision perspective it's like oh bam easy easy one year from now I will have touched 1,000 lives Mm -hmm. 1,000 people will have changed their life will have transformed their lives of living a life of confusion, chaos, being a slave to the life that they live, to stepping into living a life of joy, freedom, and purpose. And, you know, that may seem like a lofty goal. It's like one year from now, a thousand people. That's more than one person a day. But you know what? There's this thing called the ripple effect. (laughs) And Mm -hmm. if I can change one person's life, they know 10 other people. And those 10 people know 10 other people. And when you start living your life and living your vision, and when you start connecting to who you are, your heart and your joy, the ripple effect is going to spread. And there's so many people's lives that are going to be touched. And that is my vision. That is my vision that one year from now, I will have changed through the ripple effect, 1,000 lives of people transforming into a life of joy and purpose. Isn't that fun? That's wonderful. That sounds fun. And will you make sure you mark this day, this calendar, this day on your yes. calendar, because that time, I, I have no doubt at all that that's what's yep. going to happen. Absolutely. And we can always go back and have a huge celebration. Maybe we'll meet again here in Sedona yes. uh, at this time next year. At this time next year, that could be our celebration. Remember that maybe we can go out in one of those hot air balloons that we saw yes. going up this morning. <laughs> there were like five hot air balloons. Um, yep. you know, when I woke up this morning, I went out on the patio and I was like, oh my God, which one would I want to be in? Uh, this right. is fantastic. Right. Yeah. So, um, absolutely. Yes to, uh, yes to your vision. Yes to that. Yes. 
so Cornelia, um, you're asking us what is our big vision and yeah. what would, where would we be one year from now with our magic wand. Can I ask you, what is your big vision? So my big vision is the uh, living heaven on earth imprint uh, has been um, that many, 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 many people are uh, experiencing the ripple effect of the living heaven on earth. Because when we were at the conference and, and people were asking me, you know, who I am and what it is that I do, I said, hi, I'm Cornelia Stephanie. I'm the co-creator of heaven on earth. And Mm. I would say that, and it was just silent. (laughs) And I was just silent. They were looking at me like, uh, okay, living uh, co-creator of heaven on earth, what does that mean, right? And that really means to embody the highest unconditional love, peace, vibration on this planet. That's really uh, uh, what it is. That's one of my missions through doing these radio programs and that it changes lives and that it, that it inspires people to embody that level of consciousness because we don't have to die to go to heaven. We mm-hmm. um, have heaven right in between our, our breasts, that if you take a deep breath inside, that heaven is a state of consciousness that is deeply within you. We just have to let the old consciousness die away. That's one part of it. And then, and then the other part is, um, to inspire the millionaire imprint, uh, to um, shift the vibration of consciousness, of the poverty consciousness and lack and survival into complete financial freedom for all. Inspiring creatively wild women and wild men to rise rooted in their spiritual and material abundance. And that this is done for millions and millions of people on the planet that are ready to embody that wealth at worth that amazing, juicy life that we all came here to live so that we can be great stewards of the earth and do better things. Because we have so many other things that we're passionate about, right? Like, you know, I know you're passionate about not having so many plastic bottles and (laughs) other people are passionate about not not using toilet paper. And there's so many (laughs) things that, that, you know, there's other people about, uh, about, you know, building wells. And I was thinking this morning, you know, uh, how is it going to feel for me to make my first million dollars? How am I going to feel? Uh, that's really the vibration of the celebration. So where am I going to be at a year from now? I will be experiencing the reality of ma- having made my first million dollars. And mm. I, um, I will, that's, mark that on your calendar. <laughs> and, All right. Yeah. And I'll be, I'll be able to write checks to people the way that I want to write checks and do the things that I want to do. And, and I have um, structures already in place that I created that um, support that, uh, fi- fi- that f- foundation. Um, yeah. So I've been working on these structures and, 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 and creating this financial flow for myself. And so now it's just all a matter of inspiring others, sharing the gifts, sharing the wisdom, sharing the tools, sharing the resources. And the main thing, that I help people do, and that is to step into their full uh, creatorship as empowered creators, the authority over one's own life as empowered creation. That's what Mm. I help people do, is step into their full power and release the victim consciousness, release the lack consciousness, and release the old earth out of their physical body so that it can truly step into the new earth and that new vibration so so that we can live uh, peace on earth heaven on earth, in financial freedom, in paradise, right here on earth for all of us, uh, mm. for the first time ever in the her story of this planet. Wonderful. Gosh, that sounds awesome. Me too. Me too. I want the time. <laughs> no, I you want know, the me millionaire too. me too. Yeah, millionaire me too, heaven on earth me too. Join our community Please go to my newsletter at, uh, please go to my website at CorneliaStephanie.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Uh, friend us on Facebook. Charlene has, she has her own radio show. Cornelia Stephanie and tune in. Stay tuned for the show that follows this one right here. Uh, the Millionaire Imprint for Women in just 10 minutes from now. Be, stay tuned and we'll see you all next week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks, Charlene Hess. And thank you, Elena, for calling in. Uh, Much love and peace to everybody. See you soon. Namaste. 
Bye-bye. You've been listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Wake Up to Love, Your Call to Action. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio. Cornelia's joy is to engage others in practical ways, showing us how to live in the new earth in harmony with our true nature. For more information on Cornelia and her extraordinary work, or to listen to past shows, go to her website at corneliastephanie.com.